as Sebastian Keenley gets ready for the 2022 season, he has a goal of surprising himself one more time because there is nothing he enjoys more than the incredible feeling it gives him to defy his own expectations. The much-loved German will compete in his final World Championship season this year, and he is keeping his fingers crossed that the last dance will provide him with the satisfying conclusion he is looking for in either St. George or Kona. Keenley understands that winning a second Ironman World Championship in either St. George this month or Kona in October is unlikely. However, this does not rule out the possibility of him winning the tournament. Zebby expressed his ambitions for the coming year during a talk with Mark Allen as part of his ongoing series, Mondays with Mark Allen. First of all, to finish both of the World Championship races in St. George and Kona, that would already be good, he said. I've won six times at Kona, so I know what it takes to win. Keenley, who is aiming for one more surprise in his career as a professional triathlete, recently reflected on the first time he accomplished this feat, which was in 2012 when he won Ironman's 70.3 World Championship in Las Vegas. It is still considered by him to be the most significant victory of his professional career, even surpassing Hawaii in 2014. Keenley remembers his victories at the 70.3 World Championships for another reason as well, the intense competition he had with another great German athlete, Jan Ferdino. Sebi has a great deal of admiration and respect for Ferdino Dino, despite the fact that he derives a great deal of happiness from his victories for one particular reason. Keenley revealed earlier this year that he would be hanging up his boots at the sport's highest level at the end of 2023. He will make his last attempt at World Championship events this year before moving on to a more relaxed season in which he competes in races that are on his bucket list. He gave the reasons for why he had planned it in this manner. Keenley is amazed by how far the sport of long distance racing has progressed since the most recent Ironman Championship, which took place in Kona, Hawaii in October. 2019. Keenley is looking forward to lining up at St. George the following month. In the absence of Ferdino, the Norwegian duo of Gustav Eden and Christian Blumenfeld will be heavy betting favorites to win in St. George. However, Keenley claims that this will be an entirely new and unique challenge in comparison to anything else they have faced up to this point, and not just on the day of the race. Keenley has always been one of the most well-liked triathletes in the area, and his positive attitude and sense of humor come from the fact that he is in a good place away from the course, something he wants to do again and again. Again. Since Keenley has been working in his field for close to 20 years, he has witnessed a number of significant new challenges emerge over the course of his career. And one of the most significant is that posed by the influence of social media. Sebastian Keenley is a German triathlete who competes in long distance events. He was born on July 6, 1984. He is the most recent champion of the Ironman 70.3 World Championship, having won it in 2012 and 2013. He also won the Ironman World Championship in 2014. Keenley had, had his first experience with the sport of triathlon when he was only eight years old. And from that moment on, he knew he wanted to pursue a career as a professional triathlete when he grew up. At the age of 12, he made his debut in the world of triathlon competition. In 2005, Keenley participated in and won his very first Xterra triathlon, which took place in Germany. He described this experience as an absolutely great race. Because of that race, he participated in it again the following year and successfully defended his title. The Ironman 70.3 Germany was held in Wiesbaden in 2009 and he won the competition by edging out 70.3 world champion Michael Raylert. In the year 2010, he competed in the Challenge Roth Triathlon and finished in second place behind Rasmus Henning. In 2012, Keenley was able to win the Ironman 70.3 world championships by relying heavily on the formidable cycling ability he possessed to propel him to the top of the podium. A month later, he competed in the 2012 Ironman world championships and posted the second fastest bike split of the day, in spite of the fact that he had a flat tire during the race. This allowed him to place fourth overall. Keenley was able to successfully defend his Ironman 70.3 title and win the 2013 World Championship race, despite the fact that his results during the season the previous year, 2013, were not particularly impressive. He finished the day with the second fastest bike split of the competition, which contributed to his victory over Terenzo Bozone by a margin of two minutes. Sebastian Keenley, then eight years old, was introduced to the sport of triathlon by his father, and the young boy fell in love with the activity almost immediately. After waiting another four years, he finally participated in his first competition. Since that time, Keenley has consistently added to his collection of titles. The highlights of his career to this point include winning the Ironman 70.3 World Championship two years in a row in 2012 and 2013, placing third at the Ironman World Championships held in Hawaii in 2013 and taking first 
at the European Ironman Championship in 2014. Keenlay finished second in the Ironman World Championship in 2016, fourth in 2017, and third in 2019. In 2014, he accomplished his life's greatest goal by winning the event for the first time, which took place in Kona, Hawaii. That ends our video for today. We do hope that we were successful enough to provide you with all the news around Sebastian Keenlay being out to surprise himself. Thank you for watching and staying with me up until the end. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next upload. Take care, everyone. Bye.